Jim Qualley, Louisiana was founded by Bobby Goff in 1989. Uh, his sister was telling him about camps in other parts of the United States and he thought we needed a camp in Louisiana. So he went to work and found a group of people and started camp. And Miss Carolyn, who is our director, was in the kitchen that year. I do camp quality and I allow it to consume my life because it is so much a part of me. I love these children so. And just thinking about them lets me know that I can't stop yet. It gets to you after the first camp and you know this is something that the Lord wants me to do and I'll keep doing it for as long as I can. I had lost a child to cancer, so I knew somewhat what a family goes through when a child is ill. Not just that child, but the parents, the siblings. It's, a, it's such a stress on a family. It's so traumatic. And when I found out that there was a camp that for one week, that kid could be a kid again. That kid could do anything he or she wanted to do. They could do horseback riding, they could go boating and fishing, do arts and crafts, and yet there was someone there to look after them. Everybody who comes here is a volunteer, and every camper has to have a companion, someone who's 18 or older, to be with them 24-7 during the camp. We try to pair them with their camper so that they will make a team together, and that it will be um, people that want to keep in touch throughout the year. As far as I can remember, my family's been a part of Camp Quality and uh, as soon as I got the opportunity, I wanted to be a part of it. I do Camp Quality because of what it gives back to the kids. It's, it means so much in their life just for somebody to take out time um, to look after them and take care of them and let them have fun without all the machines and medicines and uh, just be normal for a week and it just just to see the smiles on their faces while they're here. In a way it's just like I'm a kid myself you know it's just kind of like you, you meet a nice kid in the playground and you want to see that kid every time every time you go to recess. This is my recess for the year you know so you, you still keep that same common bond you don't lose anything you just pick off where you left off you know and, it's, and that's, that's the good thing about it and they go on their, their life and I go on my life but you still have that common bond even with the companions the staff and the children especially. Sometimes we have to meet with the parents uh, a couple of times or even a number of years to get them to feel comfortable sending their children away for a week with us, as you can imagine. Uh, sending any child away for a, a week without their parents makes a mom nervous, and especially if that child has had cancer. So we have to assure them that we're going to take very good care of that child for them, that we're going to treat them as if they're our children. Ethan. Uh was interested in coming to camp, but he was nervous about being away from his mother. And of course his mother was nervous about having him gone. They'd gone through a lot together with his cancer treatments. The uh, camp director asked me if I'd be interested in working with Ethan and uh, trying to get him interested in coming to camp and settle his nerves and his mother's nerves about coming to camp. And uh, we met before camp and had some discussions on the phone and, and just hit it off real well. My companion's name is Oscar, and me and him have had a whole lot of fun ever since the first year I've came home. He just teaches me a lot of stuff, and he's a really fatherly kind of figure, watches out for me. I worked for General Schwarzkopf for a period of time when I was a company commander in the 24th Infantry Division. When you're around heroes like that, you know, you kind of think you know what a hero is, but when you spend time with a child, you know, you realize that there is more to the definition of hero than uh, you know a man that goes out and fights wars. I've been working with Camp Quality for 16 years and um, started when I was 20 years old. When the campers arrive we do an assessment. We um, check their vital signs, we check um, their medications and make sure it matches what the mother has given us and we go over the medications with them and make sure that they're correct. And throughout the week, I just, I'm basically their go-to person if they need a Band-Aid or if they stump their toe or need a splinter taken out. And then I give their medications like their mom or dad has told me to do. Uh, I was camping for eight years and when I turned 18, I got to be a companion. I had to deal with things that most kids shouldn't have to deal with. 
It's made me so much stronger. Being a camper, just going through all the sickness and being sick is, it was rough on me. And when you came to camp, it was just a time where you could be a kid. You could do what you want to do. You could ride horses, go swimming, play with your friends. My camper is amazing. She's, she reminds me so much of myself at that age and just being so grown up for being only eight years old. I want somebody to have the bond that I had with my companion. I want to share that with another kid who's been through the same thing as me. I think the children coming to Camp Quality feel loved. Um, they're accepted by the children, by their companions, a lot of whom take off time from work. The college students who take off a week of their time on the summer vacation to come and take care of them and, and to just to make them feel so special. And um, it's like gaining a whole new family for them. It's just a place where you can come and have fun and hang out with your friends that have cancer because you're all like a big family now. And then you got companions like Miss Orlean and Miss Sandy. They're, they're really nice and they treat you very nicely. Everybody's so nice. Well, my favorite thing about camp is mostly the activities, but I like, I also like meeting new people and making friends. The other day, um, we went fishing and I caught seven fish. And then whenever we came back, I got to drive the boat, and it was a lot of fun because I didn't, I had never driven a boat before. I hate whenever the camp quality ends. It's so sad. We have a last dance, and everybody just starts crying, and we all hold hands and stuff. And whenever we get on the buses, everybody waves at you, and it's it's really sad to leave camp. But it's also a good thing because you look forward to New Year after. My vision for the future is that we will touch all of the lives of children in Louisiana who have cancer, that they will at least have heard about us and know that this camp is available to them free of charge. All they have to do is fill out the application and come. I tell you, you get hooked. Once you work here, then you want to do it again because you feel like that you've given something to that child for, for a week. But even more, they've given you something. I dream of a day when we don't have to look for companions, that there will be a list of companions waiting to come and work this camp with us. We've become just family. It's, that's pretty much what camp companions are at Camp Quality, is family. And we, we have those bonds forever. Camp Quality is about letting kids with cancer be kids again. And that's what it means to me and it's, it, I think that says it perfectly. Life is short and you never know when it's gonna end and uh, to have the opportunity to, to spend it with somebody as courageous as these kids is, is really a blessing for me. Life is so, I mean as grown-ups, we take life so serious every day. But these kids, the most important thing to them is just getting, uh, you know, not wanting to go to sleep that day. And I, you know, they've been through a lot more than we have. And so for, if they can live life every day to the fullest, why can't we? So I try to live by that. It's a lot of work, but when you see the children having fun, uh, when they tell you how much it means to them, it makes it all worthwhile. It's just a great time to be here and see all your friends and make new friends and involve in talent shows and play relay races and, and just have a great time. It's worth it because you get a lifetime full of memories and um, not only are, are you making a difference in the life of a child, but they make a huge difference in your life and swells your heart beyond proportion. Camp Quality is a fun place. It's a place of joy and hope. It takes around $100,000 for the year for us to do this camp. For each child, it takes about 1500 for that child to come to camp. People make donations. We get lots of memorials. We use all of these funds very wisely so that the kids can come here in the summer and have just a fun week. Thanks for letting me be a kid. Thanks for sending me to camp. Help us keep camp quality going.